Welcome back, everybody, to more Space Engineers programming with your host, Pyder42. In the past, we have talked about a bunch of different ways. That's not the button I need. This is the button I need. We've talked about a bunch of different ways to do text output. Um, I was focused, I've, I've mentioned it before, focused initially on um, logging. And that's, if you remember this setup for my debugging video. Uh, originally, you didn't have any text output. The only way to really show text on the user's screen was to rename a block and then show on HUD. And that's what this was. I would show it on the HUD to be able to output that text. But nowadays, we have all sorts of ways to output text. In our Season 2 Hello World, I showed you the main, the main. Uh, I think the only way is really um, via an echo, a an echo that gives it right here in the programmable block. Um, you can still do your uh, show on HUD, and then text on an I my text panel. Um, this episode, we are going to focus um, on text output, but really, we're actually going to focus on the I my text panel. Um, I have created here a little script that will um, do a bunch of different things. It will uh, show. It will loop. It will set and loop through a bunch of the images that you can display. It rotates them every one and a half seconds. Um, it will private. It will write to the private text. Uh, if you look here, our private text is what's there. First line, second line, right, third line. Private text, and it will write to the public text. And show it on screen as well. Um, it will, it will. If you you can use this to show, hey, I don't know what to do with this argument. Um, and also, it will clear out a text panel so that it just displays the offline. Okay. So how do we do it? Magic. No. Um, so the first thing we do when we get in here is we get a handle on our panel. Uh, you can change this name to whatever you want. This one is looking for uh, the first text panel that whose name is output. Uh, if we can't find it, we say we echo this out so that the user will know, and then we just stop. We just forget about it. Okay. Um, here is the mm, the main control flow of the program. Uh, it uses a switch statement on the string argument that we get in. Up here, uh, you can use a switch on strings. Uh, um, uh, last I checked, you cannot use a switch statement on anything but a string. They, they may have finally fixed that. I'm not sure. I'll uh, I'll let you know if I ever go to try it. Um, but right now, you can only you can use a switch statement on your strings. So if it's images, it shows images, and it passes along this the panel that we found earlier, and and similar for private, public, clear. Um, the default case, it does not know what to do with it. So we tell that to the user, and then we break out of the switch. OK? So show images. That's the more difficult one. Um, and that's what we're going to look at first. OK? The first thing we do in this is we create a new list with, and uh, these are all of the default names for the images. Um, I got this list uh, by uh, adding all of the images and using the get selected images and doing this, echoing it out. Um, what we get, the, If you want to remove and reset your selection, you can clear images from the selection. Um, you can also add multiple images or one image at a time. If you want to add multiple, 
you use add images and give it the list of string. Um, if to, in order to do a uh, like a literal without having to do uh, images that add item offline, semicolon. Images that add item online, semicolon. Instead of having to do every single one of those, you can do all of them by creating a new string array. And just whatever you want to put there. And then that goes into the constructor of your new list of type string. Okay. Um, we can remove a singular image uh, by naming it. Um, we can, this takes a boolean true or false uh, defaults to true. Defaults to false. Um, if you do that, uh, it will remove the duplicates as well. Um, here, we are changing the um, uh, this, nope. Uh, this, the image change interval, uh, that's the, boop, 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 uh, you were, it's a set value and it's of type float, well, type single, but it's float. Um, you can do the, the name of that value property is change interval slider. So by changing it to 1.5, we, that means that every one and a half seconds, it will rotate through and switch to the next image in our uh, current in our selected images. Um, and this F is here because 1.5 is by default a double, not a floating point. And this only takes floating point and this language is strongly typed so it's not going to implicitly convert it in this case at least. So we just boop say hey no you're a float. Okay. Um, show texture on screen is what switches it from the private or public text to the whatever image is first. Um, I cleared out our list up here so that I can populate it again with all of the images that we ended up with and echoed it out. So when after we echo it out, uh, the only nope uh, images. The only difference is that if you notice, there's no danger entry. Because we, uh, right here, removed danger from the list. Okay? Uh, so that's it for show images. Um, private text and public text are both identical, except this one uses the word private and this one uses the word public. So I'm only going to go over the one of them. Uh, with the public and private texts, we have two main things that we can do stuff on the text and the title so to write to the title you just write private title take the string it also optionally takes a boolean of whether to append or not and the default is not to append so it will just replace um, so if you want to write the text is write private text or in the case of public text write public text that takes a string and then we want to just append these lines so that we will end up with um, we will end up with all of the text. If we kept this as uh, false or didn't include this parameter, uh, at the end of it, it would actually this echo statement would only echo out, echo out a new line, third right, but on the second line. Because if this is false, it would essentially nullify all of the stuff that we're doing. And right here, this is how you would clear it out. Just to reset it. Reset your uh, text, at least. Uh, just by passing it an empty string with uh, this as false or not included. Okay? Um, to show either the public or the private text, you simply call show private text on screen or show public text on screen as appropriate. And probably the, I don't know, the second most complicated thing involved with the I, my text panels is uh, if you want to clear it out so that it uh, doesn't show 
anything at all. So it just goes back to the default as if you had just placed it of where it just shows offline permanently. And you do that, um, at least the best way that I've found is to clear out your images and then you show the images on the screen. Um, and you can do that one of two ways. You can do sh set show on screen with an argument of zero, or you can actually do panel dot show texture on screen. And that will do the same. See? Okay. So that's pretty much it that you can do with text panels. There is a bit more, um, but it's thing, but it, but it's uh, none. Nothing else is text panel or LCD panel. They're the same. Uh, is text panel specific? Everything else that you can do with it is things like showing it on the hub, HUD, uh, d turning the block on and off, uh, showing the block in the terminal, showing the block in toolbar config, et cetera, et cetera. Um, whoops. You show in terminal, you show in terminal. Um, yeah. Uh, you can also change the font size, the color, and the background color. I'm not going to go into that right now. Um, I'll go into that uh, later when I talk about uh, values and actions, just as a general thing. Um, but that's going to do it for today. Uh, this has been some Space Engineers programming with your host, me, PodAir42. I remember, I never say I'm any good at these games, just adequate. And as always, it's been real nice having you. And until next time, uh, you take care. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Nope. Nope. I just alt tabbed. Shit. There we go. Uh, it's been nice having you. Until next time, you take care.